What's your passion, Mary? Like, what are some of the things that you really, really, really love to do? Like, what, when you're not finding things, you're not, you know, tr transitioning things. What do you like to do in your private time? Just like, just you, you want to relax in the morning. Um, I mean, I love just being family. Um, just being outside in nature. You know, just the little things. Just in an open field, sitting there enjoying it. You know, it's the little things that count. Mm -hmm. So. And are you enjoying your time in storage wars? Yeah, I love it. And I mean, honestly, it's a good break for me from the shop because, you know, it's just been me doing everything in that shop. Me because it's just been me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's been fun. It's been a whole other adventure that I was not expecting at all. Mm -hmm. Do you have the compulsion? Like, are you a hoarder? <laughs> um, well, the problem with me is I can make something out of anything. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> get rid of it, yeah. It's like I can, you know, oh, you know, I can use that, I can use that, I can use that, but I have to be choosy now mm -hmm. with finding good quality raw materials. Mm -hmm. So, that's been my whole thing on this show and going to these storage units mm -hmm. is finding quality, quality raw materials instead of freaking anything. So if I said something to you, like one of the things that Living Your Green that we kind of believe in is that, you know, like you don't have to have a wind turbine or solar panels or eat own organic foods to be considered green or yeah. living green. Um, we say things like, um, if you can recycle something, then do it. If you can save money, then save it. And if you can implement something that is eco-friendly, but budget-friendly, then do it. Yeah. So what, what would be kind of like Mary's funds models? Like, how, what approach do you take when you look at something? Like what things go through your mind? Um... You know, I'm kind of the same. Everything that you said, I'm the same. Like, I don't eat all organic. I don't, you know, but little things I try and just do the best I can. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not all one way or all the other. Mm -hmm. So stuff, you know, for me, it's just trying to find affordable, make it, you know, I just... You know, opening this business, I don't have a lot of money. It all went into my business. Mm -hmm. So there literally been days where I don't, I am digging in my car for change, mm -hmm. just trying to make, eat for that day, mm -hmm. you know? And, you know, but now, I mean, I appreciate it and I love it that I was like that and that I still am. You know, just, just kind of struggling because mm -hmm. it's good. I think it's good for all of us. But in those days, in that sense, that's where I kind of take me looking back on those days and saying, hey, I can make something into anything. And so it's taking those struggling moments and making something something so unexpected into something from those moments, if that makes sense. It does, yeah. So, um, you know, like the, uh, this table that I just made, it was um, a headboard I found on one of the units, head and footboard, and it was terrible. Mm -hmm. And I flipped it over the end board, which you'll see down there, but, and I took strips of paper and I just made copies of them, mm -hmm. literally, mm -hmm. and then put a gloss over it, and it looks like Costs over a thousand dollars. You know, it's just thinking outside the box, and you don't know unless you try it. Because I, who would have thought that pieces of paper, <laughs> you know, cut in strips and just copied, would end up turning out looking like this amazing mid-century coffee table. I mean, 
you just never know until you try and just taking things that the unexpected that could be trash to other people who knows what it could become and look like so yep <laughs> 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 well, that was all the questions I have for you. Okay. Do you have anything that you want to tell us or you want to tell our readers? Um, just never second guess yourself and always go with your gut. And if, you know, don't listen to anyone else. Even if it's, you know, negative and it's discerning and it's hard to hear, they're not always right. No one knows what's right you know it's right in your heart. And even if you don't, just be true to yourself because in the end, that's all that matters. No one else, whoever's, anyone else's opinion really doesn't matter. And they don't really care that much. So go with your gut and it always ends up how it's supposed to be.